welcome to the D. Willie YouTube channel. I am doing a COVID-19 mask seminar. And the first thing you need to do is trace this pattern. And I'm going to leave it taped down while you guys trace it right off your screen. If I find a link, or find a way to send you a link of that, I will. So right now, I'll just explain everything. Five and three quarter tall, from point to point. This is gonna be the nose piece. Nine inches wide. And now play with these dimensions in a mirror on your face when you get this cut out. And see if this wraps under your chin a little ways. And see if this covers your nose. And then this lands somewhere on your cheek and then we're gonna rig up strings. So get this traced out. The other thing you need to do is trace that guy with it. And basically what you're looking at is this entire pattern copied and about a half inch in all the way around. And that's gonna fit in a pocket. You are going to have, this is going to be t-shirts, t-shirt cotton material. You need to find t-shirts and a coffee filter. And we're going to make a pocket with that coffee filter. And we're going to sew up a nice little coated mask. Here's an example of a finished one. It's got a little point. And I'm doing different colors so you guys can see all the layers. This guy has a little pocket and that's what we're going to shove the coffee filter into. So get that traced and get that traced and cut out on paper and then we'll meet you for the next one. Okay, so I've cut out my pattern and when you cut out your pattern and draw it, fold it right in half and you'll see that it's not symmetrical in certain points. So whichever side of the darts you have drawn, fold it in half and chop those out. And then that'll be a nice symmetrical pattern. So, I actually got a lot of cuts out of one t-shirt. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight for the bottom. So you have plenty of room on a t-shirt to get out get a lot cut out. Now, I can't emphasize this enough when you're making this mask. Don't cut the darts out yet. Don't cut any of this stuff out yet. You're just going to cut out the main bat wing. You're just going to cut out that main shape. And once you do that, I'm going to show you some tricks of how to sew this and cut it out later. So don't do any of those. In fact, I'm going to X them so you can't cut those, you're just going to cut out the main shape. And I'll do that with, I'll do one of those with you. And I've got a few other t-shirt colors, so that's a good time to get out your designs or your favorite colors and chew up that old t-shirt stock. And I'm just going to show you exactly what I'm going to do here. Make sure I'm in the shot. And I'm just going around the edge. I'm skipping the darts. You see me skipping the darts? And this could be pretty quick and nasty because you are going to hit the machine and clean everything up. And I'm going to skip right into the next step. Let's pretend you get everything cut out. You got plenty of mass for all your friends. You are going to need three layers of t-shirt or cotton or whatever you're using. You're going to need three layers of this. And what you need to do on the opposite side, the back side of all your t-shirt cuts, because you're double cutting, you're going to get your pattern darts drawn on this guy. 
So get that guy. Trace those darts real nice. I'm going quick. You guys can uh, go as neat or as slow as you want to go. Boom. So there we go. I got a few darts drawn. And next, I'm going to show you what you're going to do with the machine. Okay, so make sure at this stage, what you want to do is take each of these guys and go check your head. Check your head on a mirror. Get the point up like this. And what you're going to do is wrap around your head. And now you're going to be coming in a half inch or so with all the stitching, the whole edge. So make sure this half inch is gone and this half inch is gone and see if it fits your under your chin. It wraps under your chin a little ways and we're going to fold this down and it's going to catch the top of your nose. And these guys will get folded in and I'll show you what's going on there. Well, I'll just show you what's going on there. So we're going to hit the sewing machine. And what you want to do is, on each of the three layers, you're just going to fold in once and do a stitch. And I'm just doing about a half inch seam allowance. And what I'm actually doing is lining my presser foot up right against that edge and throwing a stitch on. Doing the same thing on this side. Do everything on the same side. You're doing all the stitching on the same side. So this side up. So you're going to go one fold, one fold on all three. And then on these guys, all you're going to do is fold them up right down the center. Those guys really careful. Make sure you're lining up your triangle that points to that. And do a little stitch right there. Right there, you're going to fold each one of those up just like that and stitch it down. I'll show you an example. When you hit that stage, check your head again. I'm working upside down, so it's going to really be like this. Okay, so I finished my stitching. And what I wanted to show you was the details of that. So, one fold, one fold on one side, straight stitch, fold on the other side, straight stitch, do all your stitching on the back side, stitching and folding on the back side. And then the four darts. So all I did was fold and pinch, just like that. Fold and stitch. Pretty easy. Now what you're going to do with each of the four darts, first of all, that's kind of the shape that you're going to end up with, just so you have an idea. What you're going to do is take this and you're just going to slice it along the edge of that stitch. See that? And you do that four times. And you're going to do that to all the layers. Keep in mind you need three layers. When you're done cutting these, I want you to go to the mirror and check your head. Make sure this mask is fitting up around your nose and keep in mind that you're subtracting about a half inch all the way around because you're going to be stitching the edge of these. Boom. So that's what you end up with. And you're doing one stitch there, one stitch there on all three layers. And I'm going to do multi layers so you guys can see how it all stacks. Now what you've got is Two layers, we'll go this and we'll go this for two layers. And then I want to use this red as the backside or the pocket layer. So what you do there is you've done one stitch on these guys, right? You're going to do one more fold. Okay? And do a second stitch. And it's going to come out just like that and do that on both sides. So pick your favorite color for your pocket layer and that's going to be against your face like this. Okay? So go check your head and see that these guys will end up a little shorter. See that? 
So when you stitch it all together, you'll have one layer that's back. So get that much done. Go check your head. Three layers. You need a double stitch on that side. Okay. So now that we have everything sewn, we have two layers sewn the same, and then we've got one with the single fold in and an extra stitch, right? So take the nose. I'm going to flip them over, over for you guys. Take the, make sure you got the nose point. And you're going to stack this guy. This is the face. This is what everyone's going to see. You're going to stack it just like that and get the point out there. Then you're going to take my favorite layer for the middle. This will end up being the middle. The filter pocket will be the back, but you're going to stack it now. You're going to stack it with against the face piece. This is going to be the filter pocket facing your nose. So it's going to be stitches up, okay? Stitches up. So this one is your face. Nice side out nice side in and down for your pocket layer and then your final layer this will end up in the middle just like so and what you have to do is get it nice and lined up right at the points of that nose and stitch all three layers together and what I'm doing is starting at the point and I'm working out this way with the machine and as I go, I'm going to line up all three of these darts and I'm going to sew out this whole top half. Then I'm going to do the same thing, flip it over, stick the needle, and sew the other way. Make sure you're lining up as you go all the way through. Now let me just go through the stack again, just to make sure you get it right. Face piece, that's what everyone's going to see. Face up face down with your filter pocket. That's the one that's double sewn. Double is in the middle. Line up the noses. That's with stitches up. Now same direction, stitches up. We're going to line up the middle piece and get the top all sewn. And then basically you're going to do the same thing across the bottom. I would start at a dart and work your way out and then start at the same dart, flip it over and work your way that way. And I'll come back with my version of the stitching and then we'll show you something fun. No, I don't... Uh, aliens might exist. I don't know. They might have a... Mo oh, and we're back. So, I just finished my stitching on the three layers. Here we go. And now I'm going to show you guys how to fold this but here's a little prep first of all if you want to trim any of your fat off the edges this is a good time and you want to snip your nose so it comes out really clean and what I've been doing is just grabbing that point just like that and just getting rid of it you know like a millimeter from the tip Maybe some of this won't fold in. All right, so I think we're ready. I'm not gonna bother with that fat right now. I'm gonna show you the exciting stuff. So you're gonna grab what would be my face and my pocket layer, which are blue and red, and I'm gonna flip it right inside out. What I think we got here is another COVID mask. Look at that. And what you have is a pocket layer right there. You got your pocket right there. And actually, this is also a large pocket, but I think we're going to sew a lot of this home. Now, you want to make sure you get your point out of there. And I think I'm going to just show you really quick, talk to you about the rigging. Now I'm going to talk to you about the so rigging. And what we have here is 
a little pocket for you guys to add the strings in for either an ear rig or a head rig. And I'm going to show you the two styles right now. So this is something I've done for the family. But this is just a lightweight cotton string. Find something comfortable for the ears if you want to do an ear rig. And what I had them do was hold it up to their nose and then wrap it around their cheek and then just hold the string in place. What I did was uh, just sewed in about a quarter inch of string on top, left this loose, and then I could just come over and kind of guess where it ended up. So this is not adjustable. This style is for each person. So you want to find your customer and see if that fits them. And just get that, you know, kind of snug. And it's going to stretch a little bit because it's all nice t-shirt cotton. And now I want to show you the other head rig and kind of my model. So this is a finished mask. The same way I layered it. It's got a, the pocket inside of there. And I'm yet to cut out my coffee filter. But this is just an example of how it's going to fit you. See that? And now here's my rig. So what I've done is I've taken the band at the bottom of the t-shirt and I gave it a quick flip and a stitch and then I just have a big long length of this banding and what you do is you fold it up fold it up and cut them about that long and you need four of them for each one because this rig is really long strings that go up around your head and around hats and I thought it would be more comfortable so just get some banding, fold it, stitch it a couple of times, and then you need two of them. And what you do is, for the tension rig, all you're doing is pulling it, pulling both strings through, pulling it tight, and then giving it a stitch, giving it a yank and a stitch, just like that. And that's that style. And I had to start these. I went a little extra long, which you might want to start with. About 30 inches of string for the head rig. The ear rig, you can go with about 7 or 8 inches for most, most humans. Kids are going to get a little smaller. This is for average adults. So make your banding. Cut your long strings about 30, 32 inches all together. And all I did there was stuff it in between the blue and the gray layer, the middle layer, and just give it a little box stitch real quick. And I just tack those in. And then if you wanted to, when you're done with your strings and everyone's happy with it, you can actually sew those layers closed. So you can sew this, these first two layers together if you want. And I just broke my stitch a little bit. I guess I should go back to the machine. But that's your mask. And now the one thing I'm being reminded of is that I haven't cut out my coffee filter. So all you have to do is trace this guy, cut it out, and stuff it in. So thanks for watching my COVID mask video. I'm going to leave comments open and see what you guys think. I'm also going to have links or check my channel for a longer version of all of this which has some stitching examples. Okay, this is D. Willie signing off.